Uh, thank you, Madam Chair and Directors, for allowing me the opportunity to speak. My name is Megan Clausen, and I speak for the Lyle Street Action Committee that represents the citizens of Lyle Street uh, in Esquimalt. And my comments are concerning Agenda Item 8, the Biosolids Energy Center siting. I'd like to bring the, your attention back to effects on local residents. Um, with all the difficulties residents of Esquimalt and Vic West have had with this project in recent months, local residents groups like ours remain extremely interested in all the activities of this committee. I would even go so far to say that we uh, wait for your documents with the same zeal that royal watchers wait for <laughs> pictures of royal babies. We, uh, we download your staff reports and we swap them around like internet chain letters and then we read them and we read every single word of them just to make sure there isn't any unpleasant surprises in there because we've been caught out before. So I'm aware that you've uh, revised your document last minute but uh, the topic I wish to speak to, uh, I think it still stands. So your early report contained a really disturbing sentence. Um, if the bioenergy center is delayed, sludge would have to be trucked to a disposal location. So there's two possibilities with this sentence. And the first is that it's unlikely to happen. And the sentence was just put there to encourage you to uh, get the Heartland site approved as quickly as possible which kind of strikes me as odd because getting approval and community input before going to RFP was not considered necessary with McLaughlin. So maybe, maybe no. The second possibility is that you feel there's a good chance that your plan will go badly and you'll actually have to truck sludge through a squamalt for six months, a year, I don't know, doesn't say. And I shouldn't have to remind you that a squamalt council and residents have told you again and again and again in every single consultation you have done, that we will not accept all of Victoria's sludge trucked through our residential neighborhood on our residential streets past Macaulay Elementary School. Um, maybe if you're not familiar with the area, you need a Victoria example to better understand why we're opposed to this. Um, it would be like putting the plant at Clover Point, trucking the sludge down Moss Street past Sir James Douglas School. That's not okay. The same size road, roughly the same length, school. So to be very clear, you chose to build a treatment plant in a location where the only road access is through a residential neighborhood. Your plan contains no mandatory dock. So in reality, no barging. Even the last tenant of that site had a dock. They weren't great neighbors, but at least they had a dock and they used it. So if your plan goes bad, and you haven't got a sludge plant before a treatment plant, the residents of Lyle Street and Esquimalt are not interested in suffering the consequences of your bad choices. You need to go back, read the results of the community consultation, take those results seriously, and come up with a better solution. And lastly, I wish all the best to the residents of Saanich and Heartland, and I hope that you will properly consult with them, and once you do, I hope you'll treat their concerns with the respect they deserve. Thank you.